Pricing is a critical component of any business strategy and understanding the different pricing strategies can help businesses set the right price for their products or services. In this video, we'll be discussing the three strategies that businesses use when determining prices, cost plus pricing, value-based pricing, and dynamic pricing. Each strategy has its pros and cons, and it's important for businesses to choose the strategy that best aligns with their business goals and objectives. Cost plus pricing. Cost plus pricing is a straightforward strategy that involves adding a markup to the cost of producing a product or providing a service. The markup covers the business's overhead costs and generates a profit. This strategy is simple to implement and provides a clear pricing structure, but it may not be effective in competitive markets where customers are willing to pay more than the cost plus price. The cost plus pricing strategy is commonly used in industries where the cost of production is high, such as manufacturing or construction. For example, a clothing manufacturer might calculate the cost of producing a shirt, including materials, labor, and overhead costs, and then add a markup of 30% to arrive at the final price. However, this price may not be competitive if other clothing manufacturers are charging less. One disadvantage of cost plus pricing is that it does not take into account the value of the product to the customer. If a customer is willing to pay more than the cost plus price, the business may be leaving money on the table. In addition, cost plus pricing can lead to a focus on reducing costs rather than increasing value, which can limit innovation and growth. Value-based pricing. Value-based pricing is a strategy that involves setting prices based on the perceived value of the product or service to the customer. This can be determined through market research or by analyzing customer behavior and preferences. Value-based pricing can help businesses capture more value from their offerings and avoid underpricing, but it requires a deep understanding of the customer and the market. Value-based pricing is commonly used in industries where the value of the product or service is subjective, such as software or consulting. For example, a software company might price its product based on the value it provides to the customer. If a software helps the customer save time and increase productivity, the company might charge a higher price than its competitors who offer similar products. One advantage of value-based pricing is that it takes into account the value of the product to the customer, which can lead to higher prices and increased profitability. In addition, value-based pricing can encourage innovation and differentiation, as businesses strive to create products or services that provide more value to the customer. One disadvantage of value-based pricing is that it can be difficult to determine the value of the product to the customer, which can lead to underpricing or overpricing. In addition, value-based pricing can be challenging to implement in industries where the value of the product is difficult to quantify. Dynamic Pricing Dynamic pricing is a strategy that involves adjusting prices in real time based on market conditions such as demand, supply, and competition. This approach can help businesses maximize revenue by charging higher prices during periods of high demand and lower prices during periods of low demand. Dynamic pricing requires sophisticated pricing algorithms and data analytics tools to be effective. Dynamic pricing is commonly used in industries where demand fluctuates frequently, such as airlines or hotels. For example, an airline might use dynamic pricing to adjust ticket prices based on demand. If there is a high demand for tickets on a particular day, the airline might increase the ticket price. However, if there is low demand, the airline might reduce the ticket price to attract more customers. One advantage of dynamic pricing is that it can help businesses maximize revenue by charging the optimal price at any given time. In addition, dynamic pricing can help businesses remain competitive by adjusting prices to match market conditions. One disadvantage of dynamic pricing is that it can be perceived as unfair by customers, especially if prices fluctuate rapidly or unpredictably. In addition, implementing dynamic pricing can be expensive and requires significant investment in technology and data analytics. In conclusion, businesses have three main strategies to choose from when determining prices, cost plus pricing, value-based pricing, and dynamic pricing. Each strategy has its strengths and weaknesses, and businesses must consider their goals, market conditions, and customer preferences when choosing a pricing strategy. Cost plus pricing is simple and straightforward, but may not be effective in competitive markets. Value-based pricing can capture more value from offerings but requires a deep understanding of the customer and market. Dynamic pricing can help maximize revenue but may be perceived as unfair by customers. Ultimately, businesses must choose the strategy that best aligns with their goals and objectives. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more useful content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of our latest uploads.